Last week on Sailing Ruby Rose, we discover beautiful Bermuda. We take a hike across to the other side of the island and then we get a ferry to the Royal Naval Dockyard of Bermuda and learn all about Bermuda's fascinating history. After five short days in Bermuda, it was time for us to depart for the second leg of our Atlantic crossing. The atmosphere was one of nervous anticipation as we and the boats around us prepared for an 11 o'clock start. This leg was going to be approximately 1800 miles and the longest crossing we had done since our other Atlantic crossing three years ago. The good news is that the forecast was looking perfect. The winds were going to be light for the first few days, so our plan was to sail or motor sail in a northeast direction in order to get to the westerly winds that are created by the Azores High. The Azores High is a stable high pressure system that sits somewhere over the Azores, hence the name. And because of the clockwise direction of high pressure systems in the northern hemisphere, to the north of the high there would be westerly winds, in the middle there would be light to no winds, and further south there would be easterly winds. The Azores High does move north and south and is affected by low pressure systems rolling in from the US east coast. So we were lucky that the high was in such a favourable location for our departure. Well, we're now, what, two hours before the start line? We're just doing a final weather check on windy.com. It's fairly straightforward, literally. Go north if you want wind, go south if you want less wind, but head towards the Azores. It's not gonna be a fast passage. I will always take a slow, comfortable passage over a fast, uncomfortable one. I don't mind getting there two days late if I haven't kind of spewed my entire lunch all over the deck. But, or you just have a few days feeling miserable. The thing is that this boat is 40 foot and 40 foot is fantastic but you know 40 foot the motion is kind of less sea kind than a 50 foot boat because there's, there's, there's less room so less length. So we're gonna have a nice sane comfortable but slow passage that's what we hope for. So there you go weather, weather planning all done we will get obviously weather updates on a daily basis from Arc Rally Control we'll also get weather updates from our own sat phone and compare the grib file to what the arc says so, and, and take it from there it's not as i said the system theoretically touch wood is stable it's a stable weather system that sits in fills in about now doesn't it sort of mid G, mid may and the azores high will stay there for you know months so that's it so yeah it's now in 9 18. um we will probably i should imagine be leaving this berth within the hour so yeah So small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me Drive a faster car. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be so. Oh, this is a much nicer start than uh, our crossing from the Bahamas to Bermuda. So, hopefully, that's a, uh, a good sign for the whole crossing. No, it's not. No. No. A little bit of flutter now. A little bit. Tiny, I'm gonna tiny skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. Try not to hold me down, feel alive. Alright, can we get lunch on the floor, please? Yes. Oh, oh. 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 o
Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me. Alright, so one tin of tomatoes. We are having for our dinner chicken vindaloo. Always nice to see that it's actually a tin of tomatoes and that the labelling system went well. Good. Pressure cooker. An almost invaluable addition to any galley. Well, we've been at sea, what, three hours, four hours? Yeah. God, if we can get this for even half the journey, I'll be happy. The conditions are beautiful. There's like three foot of swell. There is eight to 10 knots of apparent breeze and uh, bright sunshine. It is in here, it is 29 degrees Celsius. It's warmer in here than it is Yeah, about 24 outside in the, in the cockpit. Uh, Teresa's gone and bought cream cakes for afternoon tea, which is always a, uh, a boon. And what else can I say? We are flying our beautiful Code Zero. Yeah, we're doing an average of six and a half knots. Which, uh, look, Code Zero is probably, I, I, I actually agree with people's premise that Code Zero is the most useful non-white sail you can have. I think, just think they're bloody amazing because you can fly them downwind but you can also fly them upwind. Six and a half knots in eight wind, eight knots of true wind. Nine to ten knots. All right, so yeah, we're doing well. We're in the middle of the pack. Yeah. We're actually, I think 11th out of 25 Yeah, we are the smallest boat bar three, I think. So we're 38 foot, and because of this code zero, um, we are as far as Therese, because Therese has come off watch. Um, we're 11th. We're 11th in a pack of 30 boats. Which no, it, no, there's about 20, 23. 23, okay. 20, 23, yeah. okay. Anyway, I'm going to cook dinner, and then I'm going to sit and read a book, and then I'm not on watch for another three hours, so I've got three hours to sit and chill out, and then we'll pack that sail away at nightfall. We don't fly at dark, in the dark, and uh, settle down for our first night at sea. First night of maybe 15 or 16. Who knows? crossing um, from Bermuda to the Azores and we are absolutely caning along this is seriously one of the best sails that I can remember us ever having I've just gotten up from my afternoon nap it's about three o'clock in the afternoon so I'm taking watch now and you right baby yes <laughs> hello just had a shower Hot shower, one of the little luxuries on board. Very nice. Hot shower and a shame. So we are making a very impressive seven and a half, eight knots. Believe it or not, we are not motor sailing. We don't have the engine on. We just have our sails up and the engine off. And uh, we are flying our favorite sail, the Code Zero. 
um, and this is why we love it so much you know we've got nine nine to ten knots apparent wind and we're making eight knots I mean it can't get better than that um, the sea is a flat calm you know down below it just make you just feel like you're in a slightly rolly anchorage it's just so comfortable and uh, we are surrounded by other arc boats although there's only a couple that we can see uh, but there's plenty on our AIS that we can see so we've got loads of company around us and uh, we are in the somewhat satisfying position of um, leading I think probably the middle group we are feeling very smug very satisfied enjoying the rare experience of going faster than other boats never happens so we're enjoying it while we can all right so let me show you so we're obviously there and then we've got about one two three four five six seven boats that i can see oh no eight boats maybe but check this out Twenty meters. Twenty meters. And they're behind us. We're not even twelve meters. And the other one. Eighteen meters. Eighteen meters. Fourteen meters. So we're surrounded by boats that are at least a couple of meters larger than us, if not almost twice as big as us. And we're leaving the pack. That doesn't happen ever. <laughs> so now I am going to uh, just chill out and sit back and uh, read my book. Enjoy this wonderful sail while it lasts. Hopefully it lasts the next two weeks. I think that would be uh, pretty unlikely. So we'll enjoy it while we can. Every morning and every evening, the ARC Rally has an SSB network. For those of you who don't know, that's a high frequency radio network. It allows us to converse with other boats, report positions, report problems, and it's a really nice way of keeping in touch with people when we're a very, very long way from land. The SSB net had a regular controller, and on the first night out, the SSB controller requested that we all play a piece of music which reflected our tastes on the boat. Uh, 
so we're just motoring along. Um, we're only doing about four and a half knots, so we're not, we don't have much speed, but you know, not much we can do about that. At least it's comfortable. Um, you know, the weather's fantastic, and uh, the seas are really calm, and everyone's sleeping well, and you know, it's uh, it's just a great great day to be at sea. Tell me if I got it wrong, buddy. You don't want to be alone. Spend the evening by yourself, buddy. You'll miss me when it's getting late. Got it all, babe. Save arms when you're ready. I'm here when you need me I'm yours if you let me Got it all, babe Save arms when you're ready I'm here when you need me I'm yours if you let go Boy, loving is a safe call Greetings from the middle of the Atlantic Ocean We are batting along at six knots It's the first day that we've had wind uh, of any note for three days so we're all happy just to be away from the sound of the engine and not wasting diesel because we uh, don't have enough diesel to get ourselves to the Azores. Uh, what else? As you can see, my moustache is still as magnificent as ever, but uh, Theresa has informed me completely that it is coming off in the Azores. I'm hoping for a stay of execution, but as yet, I don't think she's going to budge on this. So we'll see. Next week on Sailing Ruby Rose, well, we're still in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Nick still has his magnificent moustache, but unfortunately our luck is about to run out and the weather is going to deteriorate. Thank you so much for watching beautiful people. As you can see, we did finally make it. We didn't sink the boat, so a bit of a spoiler there. So in a few weeks time, we are going to be releasing a Q&A episode based on crossing the Atlantic Ocean by sailboat. Any questions that you have for that, please submit them down below in the comments section or you can email us or send us a message on Facebook. The links to that are down below in the description as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, which I'll put right here so that you don't miss the episode. You can also hit that notification bell and social media links are down below as well. We'll see you next Friday with a brand new episode. Bye. Bye.